All right, so running back Elijah Mitchell for the 49ers got hurt early in this last game. Jeff Wilson Jr. took over, but the run game pretty much died out with Elijah Mitchell. What are you, what are you hoping for moving forward? What do you think is going to happen with this running back room? Man, so claw frog, <laughs> claw frog, raw dogs. Number one running back, Elijah Mitchell's hurt. And for those who don't know, that is my fantasy team. So I'm a big hurt about it. But yeah, I think uh, it was weird to see the run game die off as much as it did because you've seen flashes from Jeff Wilson. I was surprised that they didn't play um, like Debo running back a little bit more. But I know moving forward that they're going to have the the battle between Jordan Mason and TDP to see who's going to be that RB2. But I'm expecting a, a healthy amount of Debo Samuel at the, the wide back position. I know you, you said you didn't want to be wide back, but you got paid. Let's go. So I'm expecting it, dude. I think that we're going to see a lot of that. I know they just signed um, Marlon Mack to the practice squad, but I think it's good. I, I have a hard time seeing him getting elevated. Uh, what about you? What are you thinking? Yeah, I think Debo is going to play a huge role. Uh, you got your money, so what's stopping us now from running you into the ground? Uh, but I also want to see <laughs> a lot of Ayuk end arounds, a lot of Ayuk uh, jet sweeps. Like, let's get this guy going, man. He's he's an athlete. He's really talented. I want to see him get some easy plays. And then as far as the running backs, I, I, I mean, I, I'm a Jeff Wilson fan. But I didn't see anything from the guy last game. And you know that I am a Jordan Mason skeptic. Uh, I don't think he's like as amazing as everyone points him out to be, but I will give him credit. He is explosive. And I I, I want to see him against some ones. Let's give Jordan Mason some run. And I'm not just saying that because my fantasy team, Deshaun Watson's lawyers, has picked up Jordan Mason off the waiver wire. So... You know, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the worst thing if Jordan Mason turns out to be our number one back like uh, everyone predicted in preseason. So something to watch out for. But I'm just surprised that another running back didn't get really any play besides Jeff Wilson after Elijah Mitchell went down. You know what I mean? Um, and it was weird to see like when Elijah Mitchell was in there, he looked good, dude. And I really like when they fake that option like, oh, uh, Trey Lance is going to keep it like that makes the defense hesitate, even though it's 100 percent. It was going to be a run wherever Trey Lance goes. You have to like somewhat keep an eye on him. Uh, so knowing Kyle Shanahan, they're good. They, that's what he wants to do. That's the bread and butter. But also knowing him, he trusts vets. So if it's Ty Davis Price and Jordan Mason competing for those I think he's just going to give it to Debo. Yeah, an interesting addition with Marlon Mack. I think that's a great pickup. I think he was the best running back available in free agency. And he's a veteran. He's coming off injury. But he's someone that was explosive when he played. And he had his moments. I thought he kind of was a victim of circumstance in a loaded Indianapolis running back room. And then the Texans who... They don't want to commit to any veterans right now. They got really young pieces. Uh, is it Damian Pierce? Damian Pierce? Damian Pierce. That kid is going to be special, I mean, even though he didn't look at week one. Uh, I think Marlon Mack has something left in the tank. He's only 26 years old. He's a guy that by the end of the season, if Elijah's still getting banged up in and out, he could be someone taking all the first team reps. And that's not a stretch to say. Uh, we got a lot of we got a lot of twos on this team. We got a lot. We got a couple threes on this team. Marlon Mack is someone who could be that in between one and two range. So I'm looking forward to him actually hitting the field and getting some run in maybe a week or two. I mean, we'll see, dude. We'll see how much he actually has left in the tank. To be honest, I'm not really expecting much. He got cut from the Texans. He didn't. I thought he looked better in preseason. I think he was getting his explosiveness explosiveness back. And I was excited to actually see him in Houston as their lead back, but 
you lose out to Rex Burkhead? <laughs> I don't know, bud. I don't know. I don't. Could uh, be a contract thing. He was easy to cut. Yeah, easy cut because you can't. You just don't want to keep the guy. But if you're tearing it up and they, you know, what I mean, they're like, hey, you know, what? we'll pay the extra what, like two mil. Like, I doubt Marlon Mack was getting crazy money from the Texans. So I, I'm it just has to, you know, got to put it out there. The Texans didn't want this guy. He might be done, but we'll see if he hits the field. But I would really like to see Kyle Shanahan just open it up. I know today he uh, actually said that he's just going to play the hot hand. And I think he should just roll with that. I think at first, the number one option for him is obviously going to be Debo. But I think we just need him at wide receiver. I would much rather just play one of the young guys and let's let's see what's going on. Or maybe Jeff Wilson shuts everybody up and he's like, you know what? I can do this. Let me prove I'm RB1. And he goes out there and just puts on a show. I'm I'm really excited to see uh, Davis Price. Let's get him on the field and let's just see what let's see what happens. This is a guy that can be explosive, could be fast, could be powerful. We've seen a lot of different things that he can do at LSU. And I mean, he does have draft status over Jordan Mason. And he's a rookie. So he has like all this potential that, you know, we don't know what his floor or ceiling could be in comparing him to Jeff Wilson Jr., who we know who Jeff Wilson Jr. is. And he didn't look great last game. Let's see what TDP has, man. Uh, like to see him get a little bit of plays going here. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. They said they're going to battle it out in practice. Um, and again, like draft doesn't matter to Kyle Shanahan. We seen last year he rolled with Elijah Mitchell when Trey Sermon was drafted in the same round that TDP was. You know what I mean? So it doesn't. He literally doesn't give a shit. All he cares about is hey. Are you the type of back that I want? And can you play up to my speed? And we'll see which one ends up, you know, getting that number two spot. But uh, whoever it is, I, I hope they shine, dude. We need a run game. That's like one thing that the Shanahan offense is just predicated on. And we need that. Uh, and interesting to know before the game, uh, Adrian Peterson said he wanted to play for the 49ers. That was one of his teams on the li- his list. And we ran a poll on Twitter. Who would you cut for Adrian Peterson? Ty Davis Price, Jordan Mason, or Jeff Wilson Jr. And the fourth option was nah, he should retire. We had 60 votes and 88% said that he should retire. So <laughs> I just thought that was interesting that a roster spot opened up and we didn't call Adrian Peterson. We went straight to Marley Mack. So he the was pe- in concussion protocol, bro. He was in concussion. Wow, he, he got f- fucking knocked out. <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Bro, yeah. you can't sign that guy. He's over here walking fucking basket case. You can't sign this motherfucker. If anything, uh, Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell, on. he earned the contract. We should call him up. Guy's looking sharp. But yeah. I thought it was interesting that uh, a running back spot opened and the people were immediately like, we, we know Adrian Peterson. We're good. Yeah, it is what it is. It's not like it's like prime Adrian Peterson. You know what I mean? It's a... Uh... Uh, take him out to the pasture, you know? Look at the flowers. I think you get like 30 yards a game. Give him 20 carries. 